Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, as you know, we've been experiencing a lava eruption up at Mauna Loa. It is still going, but we are all breathing a sigh of relief as it is up on that saddle road area between Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea. And it's expected to kind of slow down up there as it hits a little bit of a flatter area. So everybody here is very relieved, which is good. So now we can get into some regular content. I will keep you updated on what's happening with that, however. So straight into the next video, we've got this 400 watt string, these 400 watt panels tied in series and possibly that fifth one I'll tie in. But what I'm gonna do initially is just use these four panels and hook up that Red Odo 300 amp hour battery. So it's a perfect time to switch over this main house battery bank, which is a couple of 300 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries from Chins. And lagging a little bit behind, as you can see, I've only got about 38% full on the battery bank. And the days are not so great for charging right now, so it's a good time for me to switch over to that Red Odo battery and see how it will do. And we're gonna hook that up to uh, the refrigerator on 400 watts and see how long it'll keep up with that. And we're gonna tie in this 20 cubic foot refrigerator freezer from LG. It's very efficient, inverter compressor style, so it's pretty easy on the system. And just out of curiosity, I wanna see how that Redodo will run this by itself on 400 watts. And here's the star of the show. Uh, I did introduce this battery to you on several videos back. It's a 12.8 volt, 300 amp hour lithium iron phosphate from Red Odo. We've reviewed their products before. They're fantastic. This thing is sitting at 100% charge and in float right now. And you can see there 100%. So that's great. Perfect time. Those 400 watts of solar are coming through this Victron MPPT 100 volt 30 amp charge controller. As indicated by that green light, it's in float. And you've seen this system before, so I won't go over everything there, but we're going to plug that refrigerator in right now and start running it on this and see if I can get by with only this running that refrigerator. Okay, so now I have the refrigerator plugged in here and it just kicked on for the first time shortly after plugging it in, drawing 55.9 watts. That's about normal. It sometimes draws a little bit more during the warmth of the day and depending how many times the door is being open and closed. And if we go over here, we can see it has now dropped down to 90 9.8% full, which yeah, that's not really true because there is power coming in. But anyway, there's just a, a little bit of a, a drag on the system, but nothing to be concerned about. It's still in float and will probably stay that way till the sun starts going down with those 400 watts. So in a two-fold experiment, now that Chin's battery pack that was sitting at 30 some percent full is getting the full 1000 watts off of this array. It'll charge up in no time. The sun is starting to hit it fully. So I will charge that battery pack up all the way and continue to run that refrigerator off the Red Odo with 400 watts of solar. And taking a quick look at the Victron app, we can see right now that there's 41 42 watts coming in off of that 400 watt string. And because it's in float, that's all it's trying to do uh, is keep it in float and while the refrigerator is running. 
and float is set for 13.5 and you can see right there it's just holding it at 13.5. The refrigerator is running. It's drawing right now 54.6 watts and so it's just allowing 43 watts in uh, to hold it at 13.5. So because it doesn't need any more and it's already achieved float, it's just going to hold it at float with the minimum amount of wattage needed off of those panels. Now, when the sun gets going down and the refrigerator keeps running as it cycles off and on, it will drop eventually down below that 13.5 volts. And then come tomorrow, those panels will open up and allow near the 400 watts that are available uh, given the right conditions. So everything's working perfectly right now. 45 watts holding it at float, 13.49, 13.5. It fluctuates just a little bit in between. Still in float, as you can see right there. So looking really, really good. And back here on the bank that we're uh, getting charged up uh, in just a few minutes with those 1000 watts coming in right now. I just looked, it's about 50 amps between the two controllers coming in. So it's already up to 41.4% full. So depending how the rest of the day goes, this is going to get right back up to where I wanted. And it's going to pretty much stay full over the next few days while I run this experiment. I will tune back in with you guys and show you how long I was able to get away with 400 watts running a full-size refrigerator. So right there, 300 amp hours of stored power in float running a refrigerator at the moment. So that's ideal conditions. Absolutely perfect time to start this experiment. Now I'll be able to see how well 400 watts can keep up. And hopefully we'll get some decent charging days so we can give a a really decent uh, look at it. You know, we get a lot of varied charging conditions out here. It's not always bright and sunny as a lot of people think about this elevation in Hawaii specifically. So anyway, I'm pretty optimistic this is going to go pretty good if the sun shines. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for all your comments. Really appreciate the conversations we have around here. Look forward to showing you how this goes and got several more in the bank to show you. Aloha.